For number six, this is just about doing algebra. Be thorough, show your work, don't risk losing points on something like this. So first of all, we're given two equations, but they're pretty straightforward. Y equals 18, that just means we can substitute 18 in for Y in this equation. Don't do this in your head, just write it out. X equals 2 thirds of 18. Now there's a couple ways to do it. You can just multiply across the tops because really this is two fractions. So 18 times 2 is 36 divided by 3, which is 12. We also could have simplified as we went and said, okay, 18 is really a 3 and a 6. So the 3s can cancel, leaving us with a 6 and a 2, which make a 12. So I don't really care what you do, but get to x equals 12. Now that's choice C, but that's a trap. That's not what they want. They didn't want x. This is why showing your work is sometimes just about underlining the question, making sure you give them what they want, not what you think the answer is going to be. We need to do this one extra step. 2 times 12 minus 3. Well, 24 minus 3 is 21. So choice A. So why does the SAT do this extra little thing at the end, right? This is this didn't add any difficulty to the question. It wasn't hard to multiply 12 by 2 and subtract 3. Why make us do that? Well, because they're they're really testing your habits. And the SAT at bottom is a test of your habits. Your habits through school with algebra are to solve for x, solve for y. When your brain sees something like x equals 12, you go crazy. Your brain has that endorphin rush that tells your, bo your body, hey, you did it, you did it, you solved the math problem. Math is over, math accomplished. But the SAT is, is taking advantage of that feeling. They know you feel that way. They know you're so conditioned to be done with a question when you have x equals a number that you're just gonna stop, especially if you see that answer choice among the four that they give you. So we have to override our habits and our instincts sometimes, and especially on the SAT, it can be helpful to underline the question so that you have that second reminder to just slow down, show your work, and give them exactly what they're asking for. A lot of times the second or the last step is really, really easy. You just need to remember to do it. And if you don't, you're gonna lose points for really stupid reasons.